Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Do I look like I am living the tundra? There, a little bit. Kind of in our element. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do this while driving. Ooh. This is our usual garb all year, not all year round, but majority of the year because here it is colder. It's cold here like six out of like five months out of the year. More than that because it's cold until March and it gets cold in September. Yeah. So yeah, we're headed downtown. Um, we're still in our neighborhood, so we are just gonna show you a couple of other little things while the light, or um, while it's still daytime, so we could give you a good look. All right, so this is our high school. It looks really big from the front, but the third floor isn't used at all. It's a small, we have a small neighborhood and small. Graduating class of what? Graduating like? class, it was like 200. Yeah. And then right across these tracks is like a block down, it's Peter's old house and um, the park over there we hung out a lot at. So this is like our, this is how you would walk to school every day in high school. It's and old stomping grounds. Old stomping grounds. This is our drive to college every oh, day. This is our drive every day for like six years. It is. <laughs> right now I'm going 65 and this is a blessing. Yeah. The, the average speed we spent on this road right here was probably 20 to 25 miles an hour. Oh. Guys, this is our habitat. We are on, what is this? Wells, we're on Wells. Look at this construction. Here's the old CTA, the L. We're gonna go see my old hotel and see if I know we anybody at the front desk. I think we might have. You I worked at the JW Marriott. Yeah, I worked at the JW Marriott in Chicago. I think we said you worked for Marriott. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Chris Kindle Market. 2017 baby this thing just opened up what, like a week or two ago two weeks ago i think it was less than two weeks look at this We stopped in Block 37 Shopping Mall in Chicago and we love, used to go to this place all the time. It's got the fancy new Disney store, well newer Disney store. And they've got a Chicago design market. Look at this. They got something called the Colossal Shop. Cards, Cards Against Humanity has its own store. Four New, which bakes bread in your oven. Here's a You Are Beautiful. This is literally just the You Are Beautiful famous sticker store. And then a Sweetwater Foundation. This is awesome. Here's Disney. Hundreds of new gifts just unpacked. Toys starting at ten dollars. Oh my God! Look how adorable that cough, that cookie jar is. And this kitchen set, and this blanket. I love this style of Mickey and Minnie. This is a sweater. <gasps> look at this sweater. And this set right here is this kitchen set. It's a legitimate kitchen set. And this blanket. <gasps> if I worked here, this would come home with me. This bag. That would come home with me after the holidays. Look at this cute goofy plush. Look at it. He's ready for the parks with this sweater. Looks like they sell these necklaces in the parks now, but he looks adorable. We made it down to the, the riverfront because it's all fancy now. And we found the strangest but cutest thing ever. Look at these. They're like little spaceship Earths. They're like little, little tents that keep you warm and out of the wind and everything to just enjoy some food and drinks with your friends. I wonder if they're super weird to get, like hard to get. So this is technically considered a, a Chicago park here, this city walk, this river walk. But look how close, we can literally, there's nothing stopping me from just taking a quick dip in this, in this river. I don't think we'll be here for St. Patrick's Day, but this, this is a very famous river, it's the Chicago River. They dye it all green, like a neon green for St. Patrick's Day, it's super cool. But look how beautiful this city is. I stand by it, sorry if I upset you, but Chicago is the best city in the entire world. Disney's the best place in the world. There's a big difference, and it's important. <laughs> I, I, I right, Sarah? Right. Best city in the world? Yes. Disney's the best place in the world? See, so differences.
I want to get some free chocolate at Giardelli. Holy ravioli. Look at this Apple store. We have not seen this. Peter is on Instagram Live right now, so we're kind of double, double dipping. Look at this. There's trees. Oh my gosh. So fancy. Here's story time. Goo Goo Gaga lovey dovey edition of Peter Rambles. I'm at a very important ledge here in Chicago, downtown Chicago, Illinois. And it's important because me and Sarah started dating in high school when we were 16, and for some reason, 16 year old Peter and Sarah thought it would be fun when we went downtown into the big city, big downtown area, Mich Mag Mile, Michigan Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful. We would stop at this ledge and have a spitting contest and see who could spit the furthest. No joke, I win every time. Mm -hmm. And I even make it to those cobblestones every time. You ready? Sarah struggles spitting, but I'm a nasty boy and I, it's super easy for me. Ready? All right, count three. One, two, three, then spit, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I kicked your butt. I went, I went at least to that, that garbage can. That was close. Good game. Good. Next time? Yeah. Perfect. I love you. I love you. We've been doing that for what? Ten years? Almost nine years now? And did you know that Peter proposed me on Black Friday? I proposed you on Black Friday four years ago? Three. 2013. Yeah. We might, we don't know yet, but we might show you where he proposed me. Yeah, it depends on what our plans are after dinner. <laughs> You've got to be joking. This is the Nutella Cafe. And I think they even might have... Oh my god, look at that back there. <gasps> they might even have a big old weight. Wow, look at that. Look at this line. All right, Sarah, we have to confess something that we like a little bit more about Chicago Christmas tree, the main Chicago Christmas tree than Disney's Main Street Christmas tree. Do you know where it is? Here is Chicago's real Christmas tree. That is a real tree grown in the earth. Chopped down and put up for us to celebrate Christmas. Look how beautiful it is. And look at these giant ornaments. I love it, it's so pretty. It's nice this year. Did Pre you guys know on Peter and I's first date, we went to Millennium Park. Which is this park? And we actually, the tree used to be at the Chris Kino Market, but they moved it to Millennium Park, so now our two first, we went to the Chris Kino Market and Millennium hey, Park Emma? for our first date. I can smell it. Emma? So they put it all in one store. Like so this is like where our first date was. Like, that is why November and December and Christmas time is like so important to Peter and like Birthdays, holidays, love stories, so great. All right, we got a we got a bratwurst with sauerkraut and potato pancakes with sour cream. Booyah! What'd you guys get? What's the soup you got, Christina? Soyaka. Soyaka. Look at these famous holiday Macy's horns. This is where, if you watch the CBS Chicago Day Thanksgiving Christmas parade, it was. This is where the stage of performances were. <laughs> Together. About to see Macy's on stage through the old Marshall Fields and we're about to get all holiday in here. Oh, yeah. Holiday Lane, here we come. Does he look like a model today? He's like, all right, Peter's in town, I'm gonna be on the vlog, gotta step up my game. I'm trying to be a catalog model. Look at this, look at this chin. Any agencies looking? Let us know. We, we arrived. We're usually here in September. Waiting, like look, peeking in the holes to see if they're setting up. But we've made it to our very favorite holiday place in all of Chicago. Holiday Lane. Holiday Lane. 
at Macy's USA, Chicago, Illinois. She found Christmas socks. This is why we come downtown. The Friday after Thanksgiving now is we come down to go to the Chris Kindle Market and to top it off with a, with a picture in front of the walnut room tree. But here's this beautiful tree. I don't know what year they started this, but Walnut Room's a very famous Chicago restaurant. It's been around for a long time. And this tree's been here too. So for someone who cannot make any decision when it comes to food, we decided to come to Witch Witch. What do we get? We're getting the chicken pesto. So I think what do we do here? So we grab that and we write, we color our names on it. If you've been to a Witch Witch, let us know down below. Let us know if this is a thing that they do. Well, first of all, I love that these are Chicago. These are per our area. Here's the bean. This is uh, the Picasso, I believe, and then the water tower. But here we've got all these these customer-made pieces of art on the bags that they do, because you fill out your sandwich like you saw, and they make it. Super cute, and I'm looking for Disney ones, but I just can't find any. I see some Cubs, some White Sox, Dragon Ball Z, some just good artwork, some like cult classic stuff. Here's Spongebob. So everybody just left us, so that means me and Sarah are gonna go, we're gonna go, what's that, rip a carpet? What's that, what's that, what's that, t that carpet statement? Cut a rug, we're gonna cut a rug. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna cut a rug in downtown Chicago for a little bit. We're gonna go to Disney Store, because Sarah didn't go when I went, and see all the cute, she, I didn't even tell her about the cute stuff, and then we're gonna get the car, and maybe we'll go see our old apartment, our first apartment. Our favorite apartment. We'll go by where we are. Yay! Yep, look at that face. I knew that would happen. Raw reaction right there. This is the best cheese right there in all of the entire world. They told us, I told us, they, the owner of this place told me before, Sarah, that they make like 80% of their entire year's worth of prop revenue from these cheese sales at those prices. But they make amazing cheeses. Here it is. Check them out. Sorry about that. Man. One thing. Wreaths on the lions. That's like a, a weird, not weird, but like a very Chicago sign of, the, of Christmas time. Yeah. During like the different sports when they're doing well, they'll have the helmets on of the different teams and those lions are like staples. We want to get bookends of those lions. Yeah, I forgot about that. We should do it for Christmas. <gasps> the Drake. We sit here on our wedding night. And right here ooh, is where Peter proposed to me underneath that gazebo. And now we're going on Lakeshore Drive. It's one of my favorite views. So we just turned around. We went. I turned around and I missed, I missed, got on the wrong street, got off the street, turned <laughs> Turned, we decided turn. not to go to our old neighborhood. We were just gonna get get home, but we did want to show you those two special spots. And now it led us to show you one of our favorite views. Yeah, that's actually a lighthouse in that hotel. We're back. We're going to bed. It's a long day, and our dogs are barking, and the batteries are flashing. So everybody, we had our dog with us. Oh, the battery! Our poor poop. Thank you for following along today. It was a lot of fun visiting all of our favorite places in Chicago. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.